After the discovery of X-ray radiation, the humanity needed a way to evaluate the impact of ionizing radiation on substances and living organisms. This is how the notion of radiation dose appeared. It allows expressing this type of impact numerically. With the development of science, several approaches to a problem appeared. Exposure dose was historically the first parameter to be registered. It is based on ionization value of dry air and normal pressure levels. Exposure dose basically shows the amount of radiation causing ionization. It is a total charge of all positive or negative ions in some volume of air related to mass of air in this volume. The measurement unit is Coulomb divided by kilogram. The off-system unit is Rongan. If one Rongan is fully absorbed by one cubic meter of air at normal conditions, it produces 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 10 coulombs of both positive and negative ions. However, soon became apparent that this unit does not characterize the phenomena of radiation well enough. It didn't take into account the energy absorbed by substance. This is why the notion of absorbed dose was introduced. It shows what amount of energy was absorbed by substance of a certain mass. Consequently, the value of absorbed dose is quite different. It is measured in joules per kilogram. One gray is a dose that transfers one joule of energy to one kilogram of substance. Red is the off-system unit that equals to one hundredth of a gray, that is, one hundred ERG per gram. Yet even this characteristic is not full. It does not take into account the various biological impact different charged particles have on an organism. Heaviest particles, such as protons, create greater ionizing effect than lighter ones, such as, for instance, electrons. In order to take this into account, the notion of equivalent dose was introduced. It is absorbed dose multiplied by the relative biological effectiveness coefficient. The coefficient is determined for each type of particles. This type of dose is measured in sieverts. One sievert equals one gray. This is one joule per kilogram at the coefficient equal to one. Another measurement is rem. It is equal to one hundredth of a sievert. And finally, we count a notion of effective dose. It is a value that takes into account the impact of radiation on certain organs. This is a sum of equivalent doses in organs and tissues, multiplied by the proper scaled coefficients. The sum of coefficients for the whole organism equals to 1. It is also measured in zeros and rams. And yet one parameter hasn't been taken into consideration. It is a time during which the object is exposed to the influence of radiation. And it is very important. This is the reason why the increase in the corresponding dose received while exposed to radiation per unit of time is called the dose rate. The dose rate is a main characteristic of radiation impact on organism. The greater the dose rate, the faster the radiation dose increases. The dose rate can be determined for any type of dose, exposure, equivalent or absorbed. It equals the proper dose value divided by one second. It can also be calculated for hours and years. The natural radiation background, for example, equals to about 200 milligrams per year. A normal rate is about 1 microrongans per hour. It is not hard to guess that the dosimeter is a device used for measuring the above described values. The dosimeter indicates a dose received over a certain period of time. It is worth to be mentioned that a popular measuring unit used for indicating the impact of radiation on an organism is microrongan per hour. However, the most important values for human health are the ones expressed in microzeros per hour. Well, it is always easy to recalculate and express them in appropriate units. For instance, one microzero per hour equals to 100 microrongans per hour.